Okay, I had an idea. I used the charge to summon a monster, and yeah, it just walked onto the button. It was that simple. Heck yes. Three. Is that an upgrade? Oh my god, it is. Heck yes. Well then. Uh, I should take off that stamp, that pen as well. I was like, wait, I just had an idea. I was gonna summon a monster long range and then try to push them with the rock, but the Raid Dad just kind of walked onto the button on his own, so thanks. More juice, please. Everything's maxed currently. Well, until I do the next dungeon, anyways. And I'm already right back here, because I came here off-camera and grabbed the fairy that respawns here to fill my other bottle. But, okay, welcome back everybody. Or us now with more Echoes of Wisdom. We explored a chunk of northern and western Hyrule Field last time and found a lot of loot. So much. And now, we are going to proceed eastward to Jabal Waters. Is there something under the bridge? I just thought of that. Dang. Instincts were wrong. <sighs> this field is so big. At least we finished putting up wanted posters in the west, but nobody's seen Princess Zelda yet. First we were ordered to save her, now we're ordered to capture her? Doesn't really sit right with me to be treating her like some sort of villain. I mean, it's weird to me too, but orders are orders and all. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, we learned nothing out east in Seaside Village. Let's patrol here for now, I guess. Birds. This is definitely something, though. Yep. Give me that. I know they told us to find a princess, but the world's a big place. She could be anywhere. Besides, I got my doubts that she's as bad as they're saying. Yeah. Hello there, Traveler. Would you let us know if you happen to spot Zelda, the Princess of Hyrule? We didn't find anything easy at Seaside Village. Let's just patrol here for a while. <laughs> Location of Old Link's house. Could fill in that chunk of map there before I start heading east. I think I'll do that. Because that empty spot's gonna bother me if I don't. There's a cave I haven't been in. Really had it with these damn birds. Where of Wolfos. Another monster camp. No getting past that.
Ding, ding, ding. So full of apples. is where old Kakariko Village used to be. Three, though, yeah. Where the ocarina was buried in Link to the Past. person with a quest there. Yep. This is the shortcut back to the ranch. It was the prankster that blocked it off. Guess I'll just have to take another- Hang on! Yep. It's clear! With the road cleared out, I won't have to break my back climbing over that stuff. You clean things up, huh? Well, thanks. That's a big help. Here's something for your trouble. Ah, cool breeze, clear path, and the sweet taste of convenience. <laughs> Move the clutter blocking the Southern Prairie shortcut. Three cheers for convenience. that. Now I gotta keep an eye out for more underwater grass. I don't like that. Spider. Back here, you son of a bitch. It doesn't appear I can. Wonder, will he bring items to me? No. Wait. There we go. Clever. Oh, 
Well, I now have a much easier way up cliffs. Now that I've realized I can do that. Link, Link, are you there? There's so many monsters here. Fight them off from me, please! Up a wall. Well, saving the day as always. The heroic... Huh? You're not Link. Sorry about that. The hood had me thinking you were someone else. Please forget the confusion. My name's Verley. I'm a resident of Southorn Village. I set out to chop grass in my village, and before I knew it, I chopped my way to Southorn Prairie. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make a little plot for myself. That was when the monsters appeared, and now you know the rest. It's a lesson here. You should never get too absorbed in your work. I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope you'll take it. Oh, Link, the person I mistook you for? He's a brave swordsman from Southorn Village. He's been a light to all of us, but right now he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. Uh? I hope he's doing well, wherever he might be. <laughs> if you run into a swordsman wearing a hood and a green tunic, can you pass him a message? His friends in Southern Village will be there for him when he comes home. <laughs> you saved Verly, an acquaintance of Lynx. Left a message for the swordsman with you and returned home. God, to think I'm only just now realizing how useful the spider is. Gonna need to come back with bombs here, I guess. Right, I should uh, take that off. Hello, cave. Oh, this is a broken down chunk of the ruins. This is where we made our exit. Yeah. Huh. That's one of those movable boulders. Ha ha. So much crap to collect. I need it all! Oh, I'm about to fix another rift. I can sense my friends here, in three different areas. Stilled Lake Hylia.
Oh, that's water. I thought it was more wall. Yep. Fuck you! Babies. Really freaking weird babies. Alright, let's go get those last ones. Tunnel here. Mission complete. <sighs> we found out, my friends. Now let's mend this fucking tear in the very fabric of reality. Weird mouth babies, give me power. Beautiful Lake Hylia. Venus, if it actually is Venus. Smug bitch. Uh, oh, you're the one that woke me up, dear. Hmm. Let's have a look at you. Yes, I don't know who you are or where you're from, but you are a diamond in the rough. Yeah. And with just a bit of polish, you could be a diamond with the stuff. Hmm. But what approach to take? Hmm. <laughs> I've got it. What if I increase the number of accessories you can wear? Yes, you must be bold, daring. Are you ready to begin your adventure of style? <laughs> oh, well, my gift is increasing the number of accessories you can wear. There's no sure path to true style, my dear. Hmm. For a fee in rupees, of course. Hmm? Of course, I'll need 100 rupees. <gasps> How I adore rupees! <laughs> As promised, I will enhance your style. Hey. 
You can now wear more accessories than ever before. Now go out into the world and show off your accessory success. <laughs> oh, looking to polish your style. I'm afraid the cost has risen to 300. Now I never have to take off the lock up. <laughs> With more rupees, I can make you even more stylish, you know. Whew, she's getting pricey. Very wise. One must be careful with rupees. Think it over. And I just don't really have that many rupees. I mean, that many accessories anyways right now, so. <laughs> yeah, I have no real reason to, uh, <laughs> give her any more until I have more stuff to put on. See you guarding that, you little shit. Standing on a clear good spot. Damn it! interested in the Eastern Temple. So that's totally a Might Stone up there. Over. This old hideout is now a monster camp. You scared me! Uh, Sorry, afraid nerves. My name's Sago, I'm an archaeologist. Is there any particular reason you're here? Mm. Hope it's not to go inside. There's a monster in there. The other day I went inside and heard this creepy voice. Let's play a game, shall we? Mm. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like. Mm. Uh. Yanks! Okay, I'm opting out. It might sound friendly, but that's the voice of a monster. 
Not studying the temple while there are monsters about. Let's play a game. And an archaeologist at the Eastern Temple. There's a monster, and he's too scared to enter. If I heard a demonic voice saying, let's play a game coming out of a cave, I'd, I'd nope out, too. Whoops. What happens if I just... Okay, they go back to their wall. Huh. In you go. Shove them in. Alrighty. They don't do damage to you. Ha! Ah, fuck! Not a lot of room to work with here. What's this door? Alright, that accomplished fuck all. The great treasure guarded by death traps. Salt. Second one. Well, fuck. Didn't quite go as I planned.
This motherfucker! A long last a visitor was absolutely starved for company. Let's play a game, shall we? I'll make the first move, just try to keep up. Suppose you won that round. Forgive me if I get a little broken up. This fucking Oracle of Ages, boss. <laughs> Good luck trying to hit me now! Can I just grab him? No. Oh my fucking god! Would you just pick a spot? Thank <laughs> you. 
I hate this guy. Oh, fine. Seems I need more practice. When next we meet, I will emerge the victor. You can count on that. boss fight and an annoying one from another game. So uh, what about that one room? Crush it? Can I destroy these guys somehow? Oh my god, I can't. Strange entity that moves along walls. It's wreathed in electricity and will shock anything it comes in contact with. Something we come out of the temple. It looked like a cloud. Ooh, you're telling me the cloud was a monster and you defeated it? Incredible. I'm gonna write about all this and you in my next paper. But it might take a while to get published, so here's this in the meantime. An ancient charm. Long ago, reduces the damage. Oh fuck yes. It's an artifact I found back in the fair and wetlands. Be careful with it, okay? Now I can research the temple at long last. I just realized I should that I learned monsters could talk. Should I mention that in my paper, too? Yes, Jesus Christ, that stays on.
Get him, boy. Fuck yeah. Spear Moblin level 2. Moblin throws spears relentlessly, keeping foes at bay. Its arcing throws can even reach distant enemies. I'm gonna do. Well, besides take a nap. Because Jesus Christ, I'm dying. I said, like, it seems kind of useless, but now, I mean, since I have some slots, we're 400, right? Oh. I feel like that one's just, like, stay on. That goes on top. And purple potion. Okay, yes, baby. Jesus. Jesus Christ. I wonder the spot where the secret passage was in Link to the Past. Because I know it before, but I didn't have the ability to dig, did I? Now that I can. Nope. I'm a little disappointed. Dude, fuck off. Fish. Hawk off. God, just move everything.
Alright, onwards to the wetlands. Like monster attacks with powerful claws as it skitters to and fro. Bubble kelp. When you use a drink, enables the drinker to hold their breath longer underwater. I can make an entrance in one of the rifts. But we try the giant find the giant rift I saw near here and search there. The Jabal Waters Rift. A large rift appeared in the region. You can create an entrance and try to find where. Market greens. So it's like I'm pretty sure it's a link ability. Oh, those are the type that freaking disappear once you approach them. That's dumb. This is a real mess. Aww. I never heard of Lord Jabba Jabu acting like this before. He's out of control. Uh. Well, hi there. Welcome to Seaside Village. Lord Jabba Jabu is a great spirit who lives in Jabal Waters. Hmm. He's usually quite calm, but he's been on the rampage lately. I think it all started when a rift appeared in his den. Yeah. That's the cave where Lord Jabba Jabu rests. You'll find it across the bridge to the east. Can't miss it. The entrance is a specific design. Zelda. This might be near the giant rift I spotted in this area. Lord Jabba Jabu's ran wild since the appearance of the rift. You can find the Great Spirit's Den somewhere east of the village. We're all a bit scared of what's going on with Lord Jabba Jabu and the rift. You be careful out there. Hello there. Sorry to say we're not in the most welcoming mood in our village. If you're going to Jabba and Waters, be careful where you step. Easy to get in over your head. The path will take you to Crossflow's Plaza. That's where it ends. You'll find a bridge to the east. Cross it and you'll soon find yourself at Crossflow's Plaza. That's where the Zora gathered to perform for Lord Jabba Jabu. The Zora live throughout Jabu waters and they're split into two groups. Each is a village, one in the sea, the other up in the rivers. Visit them if you're curious. Meow, 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 squish that fucking cat. Oh. I was out at sea when Lord Jabba Jabu attacked all of a sudden. I barely escaped at my life. Yes, I was on the waves, minding my own business when he hit my boat hard. I've been too scared to go back out to sea ever since. Hi. With Lord Jabba Jabba wreaking havoc, our village has few customers. I miss having visitors. It's just sad on top of more sad because we can't go out fishing on our boats either. It's 
It's all potions. Welcome. Anything I can help you with? Welcome to Seaside Village Shop. Some Zora told me the rifts have appeared around the whole Jabu Waters area. I hear it's dangerous to get close to the rifts. Dark monsters come out of them. I'm so, so, so bored! They say I can't leave the village because it's dangerous, but I want to play with the Zora! The Zora are the Zora! Some are up in their river and others are out in the sea. They all play music great. Oh, and their chiefs are always squabbling. Kitty. Soldiers came here looking for that princess. What's her name? Guess she escaped him. Huh. Wonder if I'd get a reward if I turned her in. Fuck you, Baldy. That son of mine always doing things his own way, isn't he? Oh, didn't mean to grumble that loudly. My son, Anube, hasn't come home in a while. The boy's new. Surely sleeping in the woods to the north again. Why'd I bother making him a meal? Well, if you're at it that way, could you take some grilled fish to him? I'll get it for you. Wait right there. Sorry, I know it's a lot to carry to him. I really wish he didn't make us go to all this trouble. I almost forgot to tell you something really important. There have been hungry monsters late in the woods where he naps. Watch out. Just let me know if that grilled fish goes bad. Thanks for delivering it. Deliver the grilled fish. Perfectly grilled, flaky fish can instantly entice certain monsters with its irresistible savory aroma. One of the nice things about living here is that I can hear the Zora perform nearby. The sea Zora play music that's graceful, and the river Zora play with real gusto. I'm seasick a lot of the time. The Zora music helps me feel a little better. What was that boy doing out there? Now that'll clearly be the Caesar's domain. I think that's probably the plaza they mentioned to the east. Jabu's altar. Maybe the river village? I don't know if I can really call Seaside much of a village. Fucking shark. Hey, fuck you. army! You can't go forever, you asshole. Holy shit. Hell yeah.
the Chomp Fen. Jagged Tooth Bully rules the water, chomping and spinning with a slap of its tail. just out here. Hydrazole. Soul variant that grows when exposed to water. Its liquid surface makes it immune to fire. <laughs> Unit! let this um, play out on its own. Fuck you too. Huh. I guess it wants me to put them out. Entrance. Very nice. And with this hydrazole, hey kid, you want to see a water blob? But it looks way smaller than one of my encyclopedia. I think it'd be cool to see a bigger hydrazole. Get wet. There it is! That's one! Wow, that one's huge! It's bigger than my bed! You know, there are so many different kinds of zoles, and they're all so different. Some light up by candles, some get in water, and they go both big like... Mm. What I want to know is, how do the same thing become so many different things? Mm. Gah, I know they're monsters, but they're really interesting and fascinating and cool. 
<laughs> anyway, thank you, Miss Lady. I like Zoles even more now. Here's a good thing my papa gave me. You know, all the Zoles you brought me are ones that showed my encyclopedia. But I bet there's a Zole out there my encyclopedia doesn't know about. Can't think what it looked like, though. Not right now, anyway. If I think of another Zole, though, I'll be sure to ask you to show it to me. The boy was impressed by the giant Hydra Zole. Even so, he's wondering if there's one out there he still doesn't know about. Yeah. Someday I'm going to be the biggest Zole expert around. I want to be smart like Miss Left. Riffs everywhere. I can't help worry about the folk. All right. That was the hint for the Hydrazole. Ah. Thank you very much for playing on my son's request. I love seeing him getting excited about learning. Yep. All right. I think that's a good stopping point. And then next time, we shall commence. Uh, I went stretching! And this is the bathroom. Oh, dear God. Ugh. But, um,. Ugh, God. Mm. The next time we will actually begin the, uh, Jabal region quests. So, until then, you'll have a great evening. And take care of yourselves, everybody. A good night.